Hello everyone, Neelay Patel here at Jesse James Beads and I am your designer bringing you guys quick, fun, super cool, easy projects, always fulfilling your inspirational needs. I hope you were able to catch last Saturday's Wake and Make. We made something very, very cool. Let me show you what it is. I love these earrings so much. We use Tensha beads and some soft flex and we learned how to make these beautiful braided hoops of color and we suspended the Tensha bead and this beautiful little tassel right off of it. So cool. It was a really quick project. I was able to make um, both earrings in our segment, but look how great they look, like just hanging, dangling. So imagine short hair, long hair, I think it works really well. And I, I love the punch of color, especially against the Tensha yellow. Um, and clear frosted beads. So I thought those were super, super cool, fun and easy to make. Definitely want to check it out. In case you missed it, you can check us out in two different spots. First will be the Jesse James Beads website. So just hit up www.jessejamesbeads.com and find us in the video tutorial section. Tons of videos in there. I promise you won't get bored. You could just like totally turn them all on you know, um, have a bowl of popcorn, watch yours truly, just um, giving you guys new ideas. Lots of bloopers in there, I promise. <laughs> they don't edit anything out, um, so you can catch them on there. You can also catch them on YouTube, so that way you have like a, a playlist ready to go, right? But um, just hit up youtube.com and type in Jesse James Beads in the search and you will find us for sure. Fabulous places. I'm excited about today's project. I have on here on my table here with me um, this fabulous little bead. This is the See No Evil, Speak No Evil, and Hear No Evil um, pendant. And I, I love these characteristic little monkeys um, that are on this. It's a beautifully, I believe it's wooden carved bead, but that's pretty awesome. So I kind of just started playing around by putting stuff on my table and seeing like what all kind of went together. And I picked up a couple different tassels as well. Um, there's a suede tassel that I really love. So I thought I would try and suspend maybe that off of the bottom. And I also like this leather one as well. So we can kind of pick and choose and see which one we love the most. I have a few things from the um, Emperador um, mix here. These are from, I believe, the design elements. And so I started picking them out. Maybe they could hang off with the tassel. Uh, and lastly, I picked out this beautiful um, carved bead as well. It's a little lotus, but I kind of wanted to put him on top, or yeah, on top of the little monkey here. So imagine all that into a necklace design. That's what we're going to put together. I also have a beautiful suede cord um, that I'm going to quickly put ends on and then attach all of this together. So super excited. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm working with. Let's do this gracefully. There we go. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's what I have on my board. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Just takes a second, so bear with me. All right, so I kind of want to start with him, of course, and I talked about him putting this beautiful bead up here, or pendant, I should say. And I have this, uh, this suede cord, excuse me, and it's, pretty good it's a probably what six millimeter or five or six millimeter it's a really nice thick um, strong cord and I thought that would be perfect for the ends um, so I'm gonna use that up there and this is great it's got two holes one at the top and bottom so that'll be easy um, I have a couple cord ends that I just got and this will be really easy to use so I just basically place my cord in there I don't have to use any glue um, sometimes these have teeth in them as well. In this case, this one does. So you just kind of kind of shove it down in there basically and uh, use your pliers. I'm gonna use my Zeron flat nose. I would recommend that probably using nylon jaw pliers. However, they are, nylon jaws can get kind of annoying because they do slip and slide around, but um, these won't. So, and as long as you're careful with them, they won't, um, they won't scratch. So that's also a thing that you can try doing. Uh, there we go. I just pressed it flat, but like that really just did it. I believe we have some on Jesse James Beads as well. Um, definitely wanna check that out. 
My friend Rihanna on the other line here is posting some fabulous links to get this stuff to you guys, um, information and whatnot quickly and effectively. So she's on the back end of it. I'm on the front end. I'm, I'm, my job, again, is to bring you fun, cool, inspirational ideas. Hopefully we've been doing that and you guys have been inspired. Okay, bear with me here. I am, uh, whoops, try and do that on camera here. <laughs> so there we go. Sometimes I like to have this stuff like really close to my face. I don't know if you guys do that too at home. <laughs> so working off of a camera is a little bit different because uh, I have to make sure that everything is in frame while trying to um, do this at the same time. And sometimes it is challenging, I must say. So that worked. Um, everything is nice and secure. If you're still unsure about it, just again, give it a good squeeze, but it's about as, as far as it's letting me go. So my cord ends are on and now I can kind of attach everything that I like. I kind of really like the leather one with this um, piece actually. And I think it's cause the brown seems to work all together really well. So that's, I think, the design I want to do. This one has a reddish tint, this suede, um, so I might use him for something else a little bit later. But in this case, I love this, so I'm going to try and attach all this together. I'm going to use um, just some wire. I have 22 gauge, I believe, is what I'm using. Any type of craft wire is perfect. Uh, and the reason for that is I want to create a wire-wrapped loop. That way, um, whenever I put all this together, I know for sure it's not going to fall apart. I'm grabbing a pair of pliers currently, trying to look for the right ones. I have a huge box of them now. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna use my Zeron pliers to give this a trim. The reason I like to use my double flush cutters is because it gives me a super blunt cut there, so it just makes it easier to grasp with um, my tools. But now I wanna grab a couple more pliers, let's see. I can grab my crimper slash chain nose pliers because these are gonna be great and I just need a pair of round nose. So I'm just gonna use the ones that I have by Suffolk. And um, to make my wire wrap loop, let's see, I wanna attach all of this together first. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and work my way down to the cord. I need about a couple inches here to work with, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and bend it into a 90 degree angle and then I'm gonna pick up my round nose pliers and I'm going to then grasp it about midways. Actually, I want it a little bit bigger. So these are usually tapered. Um, you can you know, slide it down further and get a bigger loop, which is I think what I'm wanting. So I just did that. I have it basically wrapped around there. Now I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to slide in my contents. So I want to start with this guy first. Isn't that just cool? It's a little bobble. It's, I believe, made out of suede as well. So I kind of have like this cool suede thing going, but um, really a really classy bead, I think. So I'm going to string that guy on first. I'm going to string on this beautiful leather USA tassel. And then I'm going to string on this really fabulous, really different pedal um, tassel as well. And I've not seen anything quite like it before, and so I'm really excited to use it this time. So now I'll kind of just pinch everything back loosely, but I'll go ahead and hold it down with my pliers there at the top. And what I'm gonna do is just wrap this around. Now I know for sure that this will not um, escape my wire loop. So last thing I need is runaway beads, right? We have probably plenty of those in our inventory as it is, so we do not want that this time. I'm just going to trim that, whoop, that totally like fell in my lap and then onto the floor, but that's all right. And I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers to gently wrap the rest of this around. That might be a little bit much of what I left on, but I think I can grab it and do a quick little coil. Should clean up really well. So I would recommend using 22 gauge soft wire. It just is easiest, it's the easiest to work with. Um, this one happens to be a colored one, and it is a kind of a antique bronze, I think, um, would be the closest, but yeah, check it out. All my tassels are all together. Pretty easy. So now I'll just string this guy on, my monkeys, who are giving great advice, by the way. This is all, this is all we need, right? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, I usually don't do any of those, especially when I'm at work, because I've got a lot going on. <laughs> I 
But that's okay, communication is the key, right? As long as we're not doing anything harmful. I'll basically do a lap, uh, lap a um, wrap at the top as well. I'm gonna make a smaller one actually than I did at the bottom, just cause I feel like I don't really need, um, especially if I'm just gonna insert this guy in, I don't really need too big of a loop. So I'm gonna open him up once I've made my loop form and let's see if we can slide this guy in. Depending on if I can pass it through there, maybe. I mean, I might have to make it bigger just because that tip of that is a little bit bigger. So let me just make this bigger, in fact. So again, underestimated, but that's okay. Easy fix. There we go. Just made my loop a little bit bigger, no big deal. Try opening him up again, and I'm just going to <clears throat> slide this back in. Looks like it went in just perfect that time. So now I'll just kind of close it with my fingers, but I do want to grasp it with my pliers. Oh, I'm loving how this is going to come out. I think this is going to make a spectacular design. I like this little pop of red against all these other neutral colors surrounding it. Sometimes that's all it really is. It doesn't need to be technique heavy. You could just have some really smart colors together and make this a very effective design. All right, now I'll just trim it with my Zoran pliers. I can kind of get in there and trim it off. If I get a little bit, I could just break it back and forth sometimes. In this case, I didn't get deep enough of a cut, so do that. There we go. And then I'll just continue to tuck that in with my pliers. Now, here's a good tip. You can actually use the first, um, first notch of these pliers and have it rounded. Um, I didn't mention that earlier, but I just kind of really just thought of it. <laughs> so that's something to consider when you're buying these pliers. You're not getting just the chain nose. You're really getting like a multi like purpose plier in my opinion. All right. I love that so much. Okay. I'm going to use this little wire remnant actually, and I'm going to make a wrap loop here at the top as well. Again, it's more or less just for security purposes. I could use a jump ring. However, my luck really does vary with those, especially for those of you who have tuned in and saw all these tutorials that I'm making for Jesse James beads and have seen the bloopers. So <laughs> if you haven't, it's definitely worth a watch. Even uh, I get on and laugh about it myself. So you never know though, right? Sometimes it's best of luck and sometimes it is truly just a real disaster <laughs> but that's okay it's it's like a test experiment because it truly if i can make jewelry trust me anybody could um and that's the fun part is we're all just teaching each other new tricks and techniques right okay so i have that on there i'm going to grasp this Actually, because I'm using a shorter end, I, what I want to do is grab the shorter end and just have it coil around my main wire here, just like that. And again, you can use your crimping area to, or crimping part of your uh, plier, excuse me, to um, start to form this around. So truly, I cut maybe a foot of wire and I'm using it all up. So love it, I'm not wasting anything. Um, and I hate wasting great materials, especially if I'm paying for it. So definitely um, keep those scraps around. There we go. So I'm just continuing to wrap this around. Y'all, it's raining outside. I don't know how the weather is looking in your area, but these are days when I just love to stay inside and create. This is like wonderful, therapeutic for me especially after a long work day, right? Cool. So now I kind of want to do the same and attach all this together. And then I think I'm just going to wrap the rest of the wire around there. Yay, I'm almost done. Okay. So I'm going to just twist that. Now, what I also love about this design is it doesn't require a clasp and, whoops, messed up my little wire there. Good thing it's soft wire. Um, I think that long necklaces are super fashionable and love them. So sometimes I just don't even bother with a clasp. So 
here we go. It's just kind of a nice little touch there. I like that they all lay flat as well, so I want to make sure that they do that. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap the rest of this around here, and like, we'll totally have a finished necklace. So pretty cool. I hope you guys check out these beads online. They don't last for very long, that's for sure, which is kind of sad. But um, that's, that's what happens <laughs> when you have awesome beads. So cool. I'm just going to wrap this end in, and then I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys what we made. Ah, oh, that was so easy though. So easy. Yay, okay, let me flip the camera around and show you guys what we made. So cool. Here we go. All right, welcome back to my face. <laughs> now, here is what we made. Check it out, super cool, fun. Whoops, got a little carried away on this guy. There we go. But wasn't that fun and easy and like it's it's super long so you could like just throw this guy on and be out the door and I love it. So definitely check out this tutorial and more um, on a couple of different places. You can catch us on www.jessejamesbeads.com. Lots of tutorials on there. Just go to the how to um, video tutorial section. And then um, check us out on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe on there. So just go to youtube.com. Search for Jesse James Beads and you'll definitely find us. And we're also on Instagram, so definitely um, check that out as well. We have a ton of pictures for inspiration on there. And if you like everything that I'm doing and all about, you can check out my brand Beads and Bubbles. Um, if you are searching for this, just type it all out. Beads and Bubbles on Facebook is primarily where I'm at. It is a creative happy hour that I do at the end of every month, Wednesdays at 6 o'clock central. And um, if you love the box, by the way, I just released my um, April set of mystery boxes, so check it out. This one's empty because there's nothing in here. <laughs> Not that the other ones aren't. But um, yeah, so until next time, I have a ton more planned. There's some beautiful beads that they just shipped in, and I cannot wait to show them off and do something fabulous for you guys with them. So until next time, um, I will be on Thursday this Thursday at 6 o'clock Central, and I will catch you guys then. All right, keep it fun, keep it inspirational, and um, keep it creative. All right, I'll catch you guys again soon. Bye.